So my first fish this morning was the wrong species. It was a chain pickle. But I uh, started out this morning with moving baits, low light conditions. Uh, water temperature dropped quite a bit last night. It was 42 degree air temperature last night and the water temperature dropped down to 62. And these Florida fish don't like to be cold. So I don't expect much this morning. I don't expect it much till the sun gets up. Um, forgot my sunglasses so I probably will have to go back to my truck and get my sunglasses but we'll worry about that later um, yeah so just gonna use a chatterbait I've got a jackhammer right here same color as golden shiners um, what I did is I took a little bit of the flash off by by taking a sharpie and putting sharpie on the blade and then rubbing it and getting you know kind of get a nice little uh, tarnish to it but Anyway, we're on Lake Jackson. You know, it was funny though. I got to the boat ramp today and there was four other guys that showed up and all I think all four of them or three of the four of them are all locals. And there's only four locals that fish or that are fishing in this tournament. So um, all of them showed up here. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> one right species yes first bass of the day nice all right all right that's a start this will give me a chance to get all of my gear situated Love these fish grips. set up bring this little guy in now gotta keep them from flopping gotta shut their mouth come on dude relax and close your mouth there you go there you go Make sure the tail's situated nice and neat. Oh, he opened his mouth. There we go. Relax your tail. That's it, buddy boy. 16 inches, not bad. This sum gun is not relaxing at all. There we go. Yeah, he's about 15 and 3 quarters. If I can get him to hold his tail still right there, it'll be 16. Looks good. Now, I've already checked the pictures, but one of the techniques that I use is I'll put him back on the fish grip, let him get some air, and then I'll double check my pictures before I release him. Sometimes it takes longer than I want it to.
orient the picture right zoom in 16 inches done done now one of the techniques is the next thing i do is i take a picture of my finger holding up a number one and that's because that's the first fish i've caught and caught and that picture separates the fish in my pictures then i go into tourney x go to registration no not registration cancel come on tourney x submit catch Submit that. There we go. Uh huh. Go to browse photos. Camera roll. This one. And type in the length 16 inches. Oh, I'm going back to fishing. That one hit like a train wreck. Wow. <clears throat> hit like a train wreck. All right, we good. 17 and a half. I got fish poop on the board. I got fish poop on the board. That's number two. Hold on in for a minute. You know, I really, these early fish, I, I, I consider them bonus fish. As cold as it is, there ain't no way I did not expect to be catching two by the by right now so bonus fish and that was a good one 17 and a half nice. to me the major factor in whether I'm successful in a tournament or not is decision making when do I change when do I do you know when do I go somewhere else what to when do I change a bait when do I change my approach? All that stuff. And it usually has to do with the change in whatever conditions you have, like weather or the sun coming up. Like we got the sun about to poke out of the clouds. And uh, am I gonna, do I wanna change right then? Do I wanna give it another half hour? <clears throat> An hour, 45 minutes of what's working. My bad uh, habit is I get tunnel vision. Oh, there was a bite right there. Probably a chain pickerel. But uh, I get tunnel vision and I, and I don't make those decisions fast enough. I beat a dead horse too much when I'm tournament fishing. I don't do that when I'm regularly fishing. You know, I'm just fishing during the day. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate where I got that bite. But when I'm, when I'm just regularly fishing, I just, I just don't, I don't do that. I make decisions well and everything else, but I get into the, the pressure of a tournament and a lot of times I do, I get that tunnel vision and I don't make decisions well. So that's my goal today is to make decisions and make them when, they're, when they need to be made.
but he can do it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Whew. Man, oh man, thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh gosh. Oh, hour and 15 minutes left to fish and I finally get my fifth one. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna measure him. I ain't got time for all this. Get the phone ready. Always nice to be able to have to slide up the slide the identifier up the board. Uh uh, don't do that. Yes. Five. <laughs> Ooh, I needed that one. Seventeen and three quarters. One seven seven five. Done. Submit catch. Submit to leaderboard. In the net. That's what I like to see. I wonder if they shut the standings down yet. Seventeen point seven five equals eighty-one point two five. That'll put me up into second that moves me up to second place at least for right now that's the end of day one and when they shut off the leaderboard an hour ago i was in second place and alan who just left it was in first place so i think it's like a three and a quarter or three and two quarters or i don't know two three and a half what's that no i think it's about a three and a half three and a half, three and three quarters inch spread between the two of us so Tomorrow's another day and I'm in the hunt. So stay tuned.